seen this before. Though. I think everybody have seen this before. I would not be surprised if Conti's time was ended this week. It's two big beatings have taken, haven't it? Bournemouth and Watford. Listen, I know ten men, but listen, you're talking Chelsea, and with the quality they have, they should be able to absorb. Did you that. see a team tonight playing with the appetite, the energy, and the belief? that you saw last year when they were on their way to the title. No, I didn't today. Have you seen in recent weeks <laughs> a Chelsea team playing with that belief and appetite and enthusiasm? No, I didn't on Wednesday. You see, this could yet be a good season, but will it be well, if things listen, don't change? Listen, I mean, Jean knows this club better than you and I do, but from what I've seen in the last couple of games, there's, there, there, we've said it, and everyone's said it, there's something not right there. And sadly for Chelsea, it's like the same old problem. It was the same with Villas Boas when he went in. He didn't last long, but you could tell it was not right there. The players were, were not having him at all. They, they played jo whatever anyone says, they played Josie out. No doubt in my mind they played Josie out. You don't win the title, finish 10th because you don't like the manager and win the title the next year. Some, that, that's not right. So they played Josie out, and they could, if they want, play Conte out. But I just think that Antonio hasn't helped himself. I think from day one this season, he's been unhappy. He's not liked what's been happening in the transfer market. He's felt he's been left short, although they spent over 100 million and they strengthened at centre back and then midfield and then up front. So he's not been happy with what he's had. And I think it's, it, it, sometimes that transmits to your players. I don't know. Sometimes it does. I think in the modern game, more so than ever. Um, and my time wouldn't bother you who was coach. You played for the club and that was it. Um, but it's different now, I think. And, Players will down tools occasionally. That wasn't a Chelsea performance I'm used to seeing, I have to say. Hmm. Uh, Jan, what did you see or what did you not see from Chelsea tonight? <laughs> no, I was saying I was a little, I'm a little bit puzzled because obviously everybody knows it's a, it's a delicate moment. So performance-wise, I was uh, expecting a little bit more spark in the players and something that I didn't see. Um, so I wasn't happy with that. I think uh, I can understand some mistakes because uh, obviously it's not a brilliant moment, but I would expect the team to be a little bit more reactive than that has been. Mm. And then they, they've been good and luck at the same time to get back, uh, but to concede the other three goals. Well, having got back in it, 1-1, one, one, I mean, it's a very good equaliser, isn't it? I think we all felt... Chelsea can win this, didn't we? That was a terrific equaliser. Well, I think Chelsea certainly thought they could. No surprise to see what he does. It's, it's a stunning finish. Another one of the catalogue of wonderful strikes we've seen this weekend. And they look a little puzzled, they're a little bit unsure. But there's not a lot you can do when Hazard's in that kind of form when he can do this as a Jean. No, when he's on a move, uh, on the move like that, he's uh, nearly unstoppable. So, to be fair, he's uh, one of the few that uh, I saw him yeah. trying very hard and I uh, appreciate that. But uh, as I said, uh, what I didn't like is, and he happened also the other, the other weekends, they considered one, uh, which is the second one, and then they considered the two, Another two. in a matter in... Well, yeah. Three here in seven minutes. Yes. But again, as I said, uh, we were used to see Ch Chelsea players very reactive uh, physically. Right now is what is lacking the most. <laughs> Let's not forget, this is a system that was apparently unplayable last year. Yes. Well, listen, there was a lot of things went their way last year. They weren't in the Champions League last year. They weren't in the FA Cup or League Cup for long. They played about th 40 games in total last year. Didn't have an injury to any of the top oh, we players. We did say that. You know, You're so right. You're right. But, they're, but that, that's, I don't think, Shan, surely the fact that they're, they're in the, still in the FA Cup, they're in the Champions League, mm. you, we cannot blame just that for these kind of performances, can yeah. we? No, we can't. Uh, obviously, we cannot. Uh, we have to be realistic. It's not uh, uh, a good enough performance no. for a, mm. a team like Chelsea. Let's uh, not forget it's... Watford were a goal up for the best part of an hour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Plainly, but also in the first half. Of uh, course. Uh, you wouldn't. Here's Antonio Conte. They're after you, mate, Jan. Yeah, I think uh, sometimes uh, players, they have a bad day. Sometimes also journalists have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the questions they could have been <laughs> avoided. I mean, we have to be also a little bit more classy. Eh? That's true. <laughs> Very good. Well put. Weekend by numbers. It's a good weekend for goals this weekend, 35. It's very, very good. Five Excellent. different penalties, only three converted. Yeah, two missed or saved. And one away win. Yeah, that, that was... bucks the trend a little, I think, doesn't it? There's been plenty of those this year. There has been plenty of those this year.